Hello guys, in this video I will show you how you can mine some coins on Linux Ubuntu using an Nvidia graphics card. First we will set up the system, install the driver, then take a look which coins are the most profitable to mine, I will give my opinion about those and then we will mine those. As always all the necessary links are in the description as well as the timestamps so if you want to skip any part of the video just move to the next timestamp. I'm using Linux Ubuntu here 20.04 release and the first thing we will need to do we will need to install the Nvidia driver so go to activities and find software and updates not software updates but software and updates now here on the Ubuntu software we need to check the proprietary drivers for devices password and also check the software restricted by copyright that's it now close it and reload let it refresh and now open it again software and updates this time go to additional drivers and now you should see your detected graphics card here and also the drivers that are available for it. I will go with the first one for 70 version so check it and apply changes. Password let it install and that's it done it's that simple now we just need to close it and reboot. We are back and now let's take a look which coins are the most profitable to mine. Let's go to Firefox. This is now one such mining profit calculator to CryptoCalc. You select your GPU model here, either Nvidia or AMD. And down there you have a list of coins with a 24 hour profit estimation, which you will get if you mine on this two miners pool. So first let's select the GPU. I have a very old Nvidia GPU, it's not even listed here. So I will just go random with this one just to have an estimate. Of course you should select the one you have from this list and then scroll down. Now here you should see the top coins to mine. As you can see at the time of recording Ethereum is far from its competition with $3 profit per day where the next one is at $2 per day profit. Based on this one Ethereum is at the time of recording the best choice here so you should go with this one. Now its price is almost at all time high where some of these alternative coins are way down from their all time highs and they tend to go up and sometimes they go double. If you look at for instance Beam coin, if Beam goes up more than 100%, it could surpass Ethereum even if Ethereum goes up a bit. Why am I saying this? If we take a look at the market cap of Beam, and if you look at the one year chart, we can see that the current price is way below its maximum this year. This one can easily go 2x and even 3x from here. And if you look at the market cap at 72 million, and if you compare this one with Ethereum which has 480 billion at the time of recording, then this one is way too low and it's a mineable coin, which you can easily mine with an old GPU. It's actually similar with all of those coins. They're way below their all-time highs this year and have, in my opinion, easy 2x potential. Of course this is not a financial advice, everything I say is just my speculative opinion. I'm not saying you should buy any of these coins, I'm talking about the mining profitability here. Now since my GPU cannot mine the top 3 here, I will mine Flux, Ravencoin, Bitcoin Gold and Ethereum Classic in this video. Now let's try to mine Flux first. It's actually at almost all time high this year. The team built a whole ecosystem around Flux, which they claim if I remember correctly, could be a decentralized version of Amazon Cloud Services. And the way the whole ecosystem works and how it rewards you gives this one an extra edge over all the other coins, in my opinion. It wouldn't surprise me if it goes 2x, 3x easily from here. So let's see how we can mine this one. Click on it. And now here if you scroll down, under mining software we have LOL miner and we have Gminer. I will go with Gminer here. Download Gminer. Here at GitHub download the Linux version. Save. Alright, let's unpack this one. Right click, extract. There it is, open it. Now here is the miner, right click on it, properties, permissions, make sure it is executable. It already is, that's right. And then we have all of those different configurations here. Now as you can see you can also mine Ethereum with this one. But we want to mine Flux and Flux is also called Zell Cache. So let's right click on it, properties, permissions, make it executable, it already is. If we open this one, we can see here is the pool, two miners, here is the wallet address. So you should replace this one with your wallet address. I will leave this one just for the demonstration. Now let's close this one, right click in the folder, open terminal and execute mine Zell cache enter it has detected my gpu that's good and it's mining flux at 2.8 solutions per second it's not the best but for an old gpu that's awesome let's try some other coins close this one close next one is ravencoin let's try to mine this one with the g miner the ravencoin configuration is here let's take a look pull two miners and the wallet address that's okay 
Now right click on it, properties, permissions, set it to executable, it already is. Again right click in the folder, open terminal and let's mine Ravencoin, enter. Mining Ravencoin at 1.14 MHz per second, also not bad for an old GPU. Let's try the next one, close. Next on the list, Bitcoin Gold, let's try this one. G Miner, Bitcoin Gold, here's the configuration, let's take a look. Pool is two miners and here is the wallet address, close this one. Right click on it, properties, permissions, set it executable, it already is. Again right click, open terminal and execute Bitcoin Gold, mine. Mining Bitcoin Gold at 7.3 solutions per second, not bad for an old GPU. Now last but not least, close this one, we will mine Ethereum Classic. So let's go back to the miner and here it is, Ethereum Classic, next to Ethereum. So let's open this one. Again, pool is two miners, here is the wallet address, that's okay. Right click on it, properties, permissions, make it executable, it already is. Alright, now right click again, open in terminal and mine Ethereum Classic, mine. Mining Ethereum Classic at 1.24 MHz per second. For this old GPU, not bad. Let's close this one. As you can guess from this video, I expect those coins to go up in the near future. We'll see. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, give a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. Until the next time, happy mining and bye.